How is IBS treated? Well, there's many available treatments for IBS, and many of them have been shown in studies to be efficacious in reducing the symptoms of IBS. And they include general measures, educating the patients about IBS, reassuring them of what they have and what to expect, giving them that kind of guidance. Also, general measures include dietary manipulations or dietary recommendations. So we try to help patients understand what foods trigger their symptoms and try to avoid them, like dairy products, or fructose-containing fruits or gluten products. Now, that doesn't affect every patient, but that can be helpful to many patients. And then we have medications, and the way we decide what medications are best for patients are based on the predominant bowel habit. So for the patients with predominantly diarrhea, we suggest anti-diarrheal agents, dietary manipulations, as I mentioned before, and sometimes antibiotics, or other medications that have been shown to help more severe symptoms that slow the bowels and also reduce pain. Now for the constipation predominant patients, we suggest fiber, laxatives, and also other medications that can increase chloride or electrolyte secretion, increase fluid in the bowels and move the stool through, and that helps the constipation symptoms and reduces the discomfort. There's also uh, laxatives, as I mentioned before, and probiotics can be helpful not only for sometimes constipated patients, but for patients with bloating, and that may be useful. So there's a whole host of medications and uh, dietary alterations that can improve symptoms of IBS. There's also non-medication treatments, such as behavioral treatments, hypnosis, psychotherapy, stress management, meditation. So all of those types of remedies can be helpful and it's best to determine and talk to your physician of what's the best management approach for you.